students let us continue our geography le- lesson manufacturing industry we have discussed the most important portions just like uh, different industries based on agriculture or minerals etc and we classified the industries also on different base now we are going to conclude our lesson by discussing two important topics just like industrial pollutions and environmental degradation and the methods to control environmental degradation increasing number of industries are really considering as a symbol of a nation's development as long as the numbers of factories and industries are establishing in different parts based on different raw materials that shows a nation is developing as 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 soon as possible but we need to understand one important factor that along with the increasing number of industries that also causes for different type of in pollutions just like air pollution water pollution noise or land also many of the industries are causing either directly or indirectly for the loss of life and property of human so industrial pollutions are really a danger for nation so we can go through the different industrial pollutions that occurring naturally in a country air pollution is mainly because of the emission of different poisonous gases by factories of different type mainly the different type of gases especially poisonous gases just like sulfur dioxide or carbon monoxide etc causes for the loss of life of every kind of living beings along with the gases smoke emitted by different industries especially chemical or paper industry also causes for air pollution that loses the quality of fresh air that is essential for every kind of life Industrial pollutions are occurring in different part of the world just like in India, Japan or many other countries of the world mainly due to lack of care given by the authorities for the functioning of such factories need to give proper planning and also need to manage every type of these poisonous gases or smoke etc into the air directly without much management Water pollution is mainly caused by the dumping of organic or inorganic waste materials by the industries directly into the nearby water bodies. This error is mainly doing by the number of industries just like paper industry or chemical industry or petroleum refineries even acid or salt etc also from the textile industry also causes for the loss of quality of water due to the direct discharge of this waste material it affect not only human life but it also causes or affect badly on the aquatic life too irritating sound from the factories makes noise pollution and it also causes for different type of health complaints just like hearing impairment and it's also increasing the heart rate and blood pressure among different people this noise pollution also leads to different type of psychological problems also people will get irritated and angry and many kinds of physical or family problems also may be there and the, the most important elements which make this noise pollution more irritative are construction activities machinery factory equipment generators so and pneumatic and electric drills etc all these makes unwanted huge noise which makes lots of different type of psychological and physical problems land pollution happens whenever the uh, unwanted waste materials are dumping carelessly by the in industries or factories in different areas that also causes for emitting different type of poisonous gases which makes the life and uh, uh, life of people in that locality very horrible along with all these type of pollution one more pollution known as thermal pollution also happens whenever the hot water from the factories or thermal power plants are draining into nearby river bodies directly before getting it cooled so it affect the aquatic life along with all other people those who are living nearby the pollution of land and water also resulting in the less quality and quantity of the ground and ground water also through the running water at the time of rainy season 
it also flows through different areas and also reaches in the deep of the earth and also causes less quality for for the less quality of water underground too even though industrial pollutions of different type is increasing day by day we cannot close down all the industries or factories as it is the important symbol of an nation's development so we need to find out some solutions to reduce what uh, all these type of pollutions to its minimum we know that every liter of waste water pollutes eight times the quantity of fresh water so we must formulate some methods in order to reduce the different type of pollutions as as soon as possible that's why the common term we know that in order to reduce every type of pollution we have reduce reuse and recycle that means every kind of usages of water or land etc can be reduced into minimum as much as possible or it can be reused once again and later it can be recycled and can be turned into another form all these methods are using commonly in order to reduce the different danger out of these industrial pollutions along with all this we have three more suggested remedies for this type of industrial pollution just like minimizing the use of water for processing different type of industrial activities second one harvesting of rain water in order to reduce the dependence on fresh water for industrial purpose and the third one need to treat hot water and effluents before releasing them into the nearby water bodies by doing these three methods again we can reduce the uh, uh, dependence on water and also can reduce water pollution to its minimum again the treatment of industrial effluents and hot water can be done in three phases the primary stage includes screening grinding flocculating and sedimentation by doing this the primary method of treatment will be finished and the secondary stage included biological process that means it can be the waste materials can be turned or separated into biological or non biological and the tertiary treatment is by biological chemical and physical process need to follow all these three stages in order to make sure that the waste water is not only dumping directly into the water bodies nearby which causes for water pollution air pollution can be controlled by fitting smoke stacks on factories fabric filters scrubbers and inertial separators smoke also can be reduced by oil or gas instead of coal in factories then the machineries and other equipments also need to be greased and also to be managed properly in order to reduce its dangerous voice machineries using in the factories need to be upgraded and also need to be redesigned uh, redesigned to utilize it properly without much uh, hazardous noise which makes problem for human and other life all these steps are to be properly planned and also to be operated because industries are to be functioned properly for the nation's development also it contributes a great amount to nation's gdp and also creates or generates large number of employment opportunities so along with the increasing number of industries into different sectors here we need to follow the possible measures to reduce the industrial pollution in order to save the property and life of people and other living beings in the nation so it is very important to manage all these things in or need to bear all these things in mind before in going to establish an industry so children we have discussed about the important problems regarding the industries and the methods to solve the problems as much as possible so let us stop now thank you have a nice day